Right, just, I'm just up here. I'm coming up this track and there's some lovely ho that Now that is a horse. There's no way that's a pony. And that looks more ponyish. It's a little bit smaller. That one over there, that's a horse. As is that one there. They're horses. That's a big horse there at the top of the track there. Oh! The white one's looking a bit skinny. You could do with some dinner, couldn't you, eh? You look a cross between a horse and a pony, actually. He's like a cross between a horse and a pony. Right, we're up on the top here. I ain't got nothing to eat. God, I attract um, creatures. It's like dogs always come to find me. Ah, there's another one up there, look. Really know which way I'm going. No. Oh, very nice to video there, aren't you? Hey? Very nice to video. It hasn't taken me long to get to where I am, really. Not long at all. It's only like going on for three o'clock. <sighs> so. I didn't really get going. It only took me about an hour and a bit to get around that bit. <gasps> I was amazed, actually, how it didn't take me very long. I'm walking back down now towards some woods. As you can see, I've come down quite a long way from being up high. Um, I've got a feeling this track takes me down to near the, the Coleridge Walkers. And that uh, leads on, you can go, I followed part of it to West Quantock Head once. And uh, from Nether Stowey I walked to West Quantock Head where I picked up a bus because that was the day I used, had to use a bus service um, but of course you couldn't really go very far because the buses is not very good I don't know if they're going to improve as Hinkley Point picks up and workers have to be delivered I don't know yeah they've written 5,000 people have arrived to start work there and they're not all local people, they come from all over the world, I think. They come from all over the world. There's a few bikers out, they seem to be enjoying themselves. I mean, I quite like cycling, really. But I would be no good at up and down these hills. Um, I'll probably try and get out on the strawberry line one day and do that, I think. Yeah, I will try and do that. I can, um, well, drive, drive the van to Yatton. I used to cycle there and then do it, but ooh, I don't know if I can do that now. I need the proper pants. Jelly pants, I call them. Yeah, that's what I used to do. I'd cycle out of Western. 
It's a cycle bloody miles I did. Somebody coming by on a bike. Another one coming. I just feel like I walk for hours at the moment, to be quite honest. I just feel like I walk for hours. I'm supposed to be going down through the wood to um, pass old Fox and House. That's what I'm going to be doing, I think. I'll come up another time and do the alternative route. It's quite a climb up, actually, if you come up this way. A steady climb. But of course, you do get these amazing views. You do get these amazing views. Home, which I went to in 2012, that's six years ago now, I was out on there. Yeah. I expect they'll be doing trips out there again, but I ain't going on a riverboat again. No way. You see bikers, they, they get everywhere, some bikers, they weave in and out all the little tiny... Cantox, that's what we refer to as the Cantox, and um, Yeah, I want to do one day, I've done some of it, I actually want to walk some of the coastal path, um, like Porlock and places like that, I want to do all that. So that's what, that's why I'm going to um, camp over somewhere over that way at some point so that I can do some exploring. Places undone again, Sheila. Now this pony or horse, whatever you want to call it, Looks more like a pony, looks heavily pregnant. Busy eating, I think you're going to have a baby soon. Aren't you? Hey? Eh? All out on your own out there. Oh well, keep munching. Hope you have a good birth. Yeah, this one's definitely pregnant, that one. I'm half tempted, you know, not to go back yet, but to walk down through the coombe to finish the day and not do old Fox and House. Very tempted to follow where that bike is over there and go that way round. I mean, let me just check the time. I don't really feel like going home yet. It's only just gone three o'clock. And I started off at about 12, so I've only done three hours and I've covered a lot of ground. So I reckon I could go round again. 
then go back down through the coom I think because otherwise I'm gonna I'll be back in the van in about half an hour because if I go through the wood I go past the house Sometimes it's a bit too much to start doing so much. I, once I turn to do go right round again, it's quite a hike. It is quite a hike, you know. I don't know if you should do it or not. Right, turn off for a minute, I think. Right then, I've decided not to do Old Fox and House today. Because it's such a nice day and the weather could change for weeks to be horrible. They said there's a lot of rain coming and all that. I decided to avoid, to not go down through the wood because the house, this is where our fox and house is and these are all the grounds and that sort of thing. I've decided to skirt, to go round this big hill that I've just, bit, I've just been round part of it and I'm going to go back round, back to Bicknola Pole because I've decided to go back through the coombe. I think it would be a nice way to end the day, to go back through the coombe. Um, I think Jude would like that, for me to go back through the coombe um, today, on this particular day. So I'm going to do that. And uh, it's, I've got plenty of time, there's no panic. It's not as if it's five o'clock, it doesn't get dark till seven, half seven now. I've just seen a big herd of deer. I took some photos. And they all look like does. They were all up on the hill right over there. I managed to zoom in and take some photos of them. There must be 20, 30 of them, if not more. Like I said, I tend to see does mostly. I don't know where the stags go in the summer. Apparently they make themselves known in the rutting season. I must go somewhere, mustn't I? Oh. Now you can either go up there to the top and walk round or do the lower path. I'm going to do the lower path so I can look over the over the combs more. I have been up there. I went up there with Georgia. I've done this particular walk with Zara. I made sorry to it. If you want to go back to the Holford Green now, just follow that path by those trees. Follow a track. And you'll be back near the village green in no time at all. A quarter of an hour, ten minutes, you'll be back on the green. I'm not. I've come here to do some more viewing. My beautiful Somerset. And my beautiful Holford. Now I've just got to make sure, I don't want to go down here, I've just got to make sure there is a track for me to follow. If not, I'll, I'll go back up on that one. I always get a bit muddled when I'm here. If this is going down, then I need to go up, I think. Yes. What it is, if you follow this track, this will take you down in, into Holford Glen again. Okay? So I'm not going to do that. I'll go back up. I'll, I'll go up on the top track. I always thought you could. I reckon there is a walk down there, but I'm not quite sure. But anyway, look at these beautiful views, look. Alright, over and out for a minute.